What's up, Cancer? How's everybody doing? Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. We are going to get right into your love reading for May. So do take what resonates. Never force anything to fit. Um, and then always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings. Guys, I'm sorry I repeat myself, but I have to because if anybody pays attention to the comments that I get, um, you will see why I have to repeat myself. For those of you that want to take part in the giveaway this month, two free personal readings. They're going to be the longer type readings, um, between 20 to 30 minutes long. Those two people that are randomly chosen will be able to tell me what they would like their reading to be about. Love, career finance, a little of both, maybe messages from spirit. All you need to do is go ahead, new and returning subscribers. Put a rainbow emoji in the comment section if you're on a desktop or you know you're unable to do it because you're driving you know just eventually leave the word rainbow down below in the comment section and um at the end of the month like i randomly <clears throat> at the end of the month like i do each and every month i will randomly choose those people to win the giveaway for that month and then remind everyone to check their notifications two people will be hearing from me for those of you that are new i am so grateful you're here my name is sam welcome to my channel all right, let's get into your May love reading. Flashback, reminiscing, nostalgia, someone may be revisiting you. All right, it's okay to revisit the past, it says. Soon as we start off this reading, mind power. Lead with your mind. So, you might have been trying your hardest, mind over matter, you know, um, might have gone very silent on someone or their silence existing, really activating your higher self, your mind space, and making bold decisions. I feel a lot of wisdom being received. flexibility, compromising, negotiating, making an amends, spirit coming through saying this connection is workable, and strategy, yeah, I really feel that someone's making a plan to move towards you, to revisit you, to be back around you, to let you know that they're thinking of you. I feel like this person has has been in hesitation mode. So it could be some time that you've been apart. But look at this. Not any longer. I do feel that they're coming in very quick. Making a move. Wow. I love this for you, Cancer. There is a message. And, you know, some kind of gesture, possibly even a gift that they, you know, something that they know you like. You might have traveled often with this person. Um, you may have had to travel to this person if there's some distance. But get ready for movement. And here it says... No, let it be. Let everything fall into place. So you may have last spoken to them in the winter. You know, and now here it is. We're spring moving into summer. Um, for those of you in the southern hemisphere, fall moving into winter. So depending on where you're at, letting things unfold naturally. All right, anything else, Spirit, for my Cancerians? Yes. Letting everything fall into place naturally. And there is the wheel of fortune, divinely guided. Fade it. Letting the universe, letting your spirit guides take control. Specific cycles closing. And allowing growth. So definitely some time apart. You've been going through. Might even be a little bit longer several months, more than a year, let's say, past energy spirit for cancer, it's 
someone who felt conflicted, someone who felt defeated, someone who could not even get out of their own mind space, sabotage this connection, put it, put restraints on this connection, all right, spirit, present energy, and near future, as in the end of May, near future, as in the end of May, all right, let's see, yeah, this is coming in very unexpected, Cancer, external party here. Now, you might have met this person. They could have been leaving a marriage. They're like telling you that they were unhappy, that they're leaving their partner, um, maybe even a long-term commitment. This could be someone who was married to their work, married to their career. This could be someone with external party who had children that they needed to focus on and didn't really give themselves enough time to do what made them happy. Not that their children didn't make them happy, but get involved in, you know, a connection where that was like, their, that was their out. That was their time apart. That was their happy place. You know, they put all their focus in one basket and didn't give much time for this connection. But I do feel, again, that within that energy, it's like a light bulb going off, an epiphany. When external party came out, the sun was at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel a big decision being made to come forward. All right, Spirit, please clarify control for cancer. We have divine feminine energy here. So you could be dealing with a Libra, could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, but this is a soul bond. Whether it be a soul mate or a twin flame connection, this, this is a soul. You feel it in your soul. You feel this person's energy, even in separation. All right, Spirit. What is coming in that is unexpected? What is coming in that is unexpected? There it is. Your spirit guide's coming through. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. This is fated. You meeting this person, no matter how or what the situation was that creates this karmic energy that they had to deal with, it's like everything is falling into place. This is the moment of divine intervention for you, for you and this person. Change happening, moving away from specific karmic cycles in their own life and possibly you doing the same. Cancer, but this is, this is forward movement. This is Cupid, Cupid's arrows. I'm sorry, my dog just got my attention. This is Cupid's arrows, communication coming in. And spirit, why external party? Thank you. Like I said, you've created that spark. They do feel, they think about a future with you. I really feel that they had some burden going on. Possibly pulling themselves out of a dark night of the soul. Possibly in a crisis mode when you met them and they just needed to focus on that and heal. But there will be action taken. Possibly, depending on control, I mean, look at this. It's almost like somebody is stepping on their face. Depending on what this is that they dealt with in the past. Healing. Focusing on themselves, their self-esteem. Making themselves a priority and lightening their load of what they have going on. Alright, let's see. just heard it may not be who you think cancer it may not be who you think All right, let's see. page of swords overcoming chaos overcoming drama possibly watching you from afar maybe through your social media might even be hitting you up through a direct message 
Yeah, they are taking themselves out of that crossroads. This person has definitely overcome some challenges. They're coming in as a king of pentacles now. So maybe even, like I said, could be an earth sign or they have strong earth in their chart. They're coming in very financially abundant and stable, very supportive within their own energy. They're happy where they're at financially, may even have their own business um, or very high up within their business, like a boss or a CEO. Um, able to offer now a stable romance, a stable relationship. Yeah, just as I said it, there is that stable romance. It might have taken them some time to get, the, get to you. It is coming in as earth energy, but you can trust what they're saying. They're coming in grounded. Like I said, they have some, they have like, basically not some, they have like the utmost stability coming in as the king of pentacles. And they have a confession. They want to open up. I definitely feel, for those of you that are dealing or have dealt with a third party, maybe even met your person through business or work and they had someone else in their life, it's distraught. That the, the third party energy didn't just affect you. It affected them. Being apart from you, not being able to be around you, it was hard for them. But I also think that this was heartbreak that they were going through. Like I said, you know, some healing, some after of, of healing after a crisis or trauma. Probably, probably trying to be in that energy of mind over matter. You know, I dealt with this in the past. I'm just, I can't allow myself to get into another relationship. I'm focusing on this. I'm focusing on that. But just right now, I don't want to be in a relationship, if ever. And now they're second guessing their decision. They're revisiting the past and showing up in your energy. So you are about to be shocked. Pay attention to the red flags. Yeah. See what I mean? There are certain cycles. There are certain things that, you know, it just didn't feel right. You dealing with this person. Spirit gives us red flags. This universe gives us red flags. It's, it's our decision whether we act on them for our best benefit. And when we don't, there comes the ending. Spirit comes in to redirect you away from something that just isn't serving you happiness in the moment. They are coming in flirty. They are coming in wanting to align. To recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And remember, it's okay to revisit the past. At least within this situation. Everything, divine timing, everything is about to fall into place between you and them. But remember, I did say in the middle of the reading, it may not be who you think. All right, we have V, O, T, G, A, R, E, S, I, L, M. So take what resonates, leave that um, rainbow emoji or the word rainbow in the comment section. Anytime you want me to tune into just your energy to bring you clarity and guidance, whatever it is that you're going through, the link to my Etsy shops in the description box. It is open. It is restocked for now. So you can take advantage of that. So much love and light, guys.